वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे आई विल बिगिन विद अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज न्यू सब टॉपिक दैट इज इंटरनेशनल रिलेशंस ओके सो दिस दिस सब टॉपिक फॉल्स इन द कैटेगरी ऑफ स्कोप ऑफ फर्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज स्कोप ऑफ पॉलिटिकल साइंस सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो दिस वन international relations like we have already completed political theory we have already completed uh, comparative politics as a new uh, major dimension of political science simultaneously international relations so what does this international relation means international relation constitutes a very major area of political science very major area of political science because in today's world in today's 21st century ir ir international relation plays a very dominant role as a new dimensions or a new subjects uh, scope for um for political science so from political science is a new like it's a different domain from that domain only there is a birth of ir so let's understand what is its meaning okay so it primarily primarily studies relations interactions among the actors of the international community so these words actors these are not hollywood actors or bollywood actors but actors refers to states okay powerful states powerful states so under powerful states there are different uh, states different countries that usa north korea china and india and continuously it arises so what does mean it primarily studies relation interactions among actors of international community so under the under this united nation also comes uh, world health organization also come unesco unesco also comes under this in, international community so the study of the relation between these actors or these international community are studied under international relations it involves the study of behavior of international system is that interactions and relations among nations and other international actors present in the international environment it is it is same as an elaborative explanation of point number 2 ir international relations or international politics seeks to study the political dimensions of the relations among nation so basically i r totally uh, talks about relationship relationship of countries with other countries be it neighboring countries or be it their uh, rival countries all those things so it is it essentially studies all aspect of international relation between political relations because i'm sorry all aspect of international relation because political relations are always influenced and determined by socio economic cultural geographical and technological factor relation so it is like this international relations uh, in the study of uh, if we study ir we need to study about their political relations how that uh, how a country has its socio economic cultural geographical technological relations with the other countries okay this means uh, usa is here and china is here okay so usa has its so uh, cultural advancement geographically it's very sound technologically it's very advanced so china also has certain factors china is also military might in they have their population and they have brains with different things and they have a big 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 land mass so what happens means 
if these particular things are there usa has their own uh, factors and china have their own factors so the study of these factors between these countries and how their relations are there it is studied in international relation so currently international economic relations have been act as major determinants of all dimensions of relation among nation why economic why economy because in 21st century economy economy has been a major area because every country is uh, dependent upon other country be it in terms of food grains be it terms with military be it in terms with uh, combating terrorism in the countries so and and so forth so in uh, economy means money money so whatever the things i just said that terrorism to combat terrorism to combat different kinds of uh, may, uh, to to build infrastructural development or to get certain kinds of missiles or bombs or fighters we need money no we need money to build them so economic relations one has to support other country if a country has such as like if india has uh, uh economically india is like rich in producing food grains food grain so for their sustenance or for their benefit uh, india supp supplied food grains to bangladesh okay so this has been our trade trade and because they are doing econ and trade automatically leads to gives to gives money so economy will rise so all around the world all around the world what happens what happened was what ha what is happening is that international economic relations has been acting as a major determinant of all dimensions of relation among nations so moving forward let's talk about the scope of international relation so in your book there are numerous scope but i have just point out six scope so we will discuss this scope so in contemporary times means occurring at the same time the scope of study of international relations include the following subject area nation state system or nation state as a key actor of international relations so number one scope what do you understand by nation state nation state is a political organization under which or relatively homogeneous people inhabit inhabits in a sovereign state so these is the these what um, like it, it is a political organization where homogeneous people inhabits in a sovereign state so nation state are the primary actors in the um, international state uh, international relation nation states are primary actors i have already explained and given you the meaning of nation state so if you are confused with the meaning of nation state you can see it in your uh, in your book also so moving forward uh, international politics studies relations and interactions between two or more states relation we are talking about relation right so relation can not just be for one people one one but to understand the larger domain of relation we need one or more people or a states to understand understand its relationship that's why it's international politics every state is conditioned by its geography resources population level of industrial as well as technological development ideology diplomacy national interest etc so it's very intertwined like like in state i have already discussed uh, state has four elements that sovereignty people uh in sovereignty population territory and uh, the things okay just like okay coming to the geography we we sit in a particular geographical area okay and we have certain resources we too have certain population and 
and territory we are marked with certain territory and this is the four basic elements but apart from that to run a state to run a state in a good manner to run a state in a good manner in 21st century we need these kind of things like we already had geography we have resources we had population also but now in 21st century what this ir international relation uh, relation studies uh, holds about level of industrial and technological development of that particular country and what kind of ideology that particular country follows and what kind of diplomacy and their what what are their national interests and uh, what kind of national interest they they have like what are their goals and what are their ambitions and what are goals and ambition not just by their not just goals and ambition but goals and ambitions under under different category like economic category military category and uh, cultural category so international relation is uh, therefore the study of interstate relation um, necessitates the study of the basic actor of this factor so you must be very clear what is international relation international relation is the study of interstate relation of between one or more or one or two or more states under the uh, under the conditions just like study about their geography study about their resources study about their population level of their technological as well as industrial industrial development further it also focus upon or it also studies about the ideology of that country how, what kind of diplomacy they use and their own goals and uh, goals and op um, objectives to meet so this is nation state or nation state as a key actor of international relation so second okay second important uh, scope is na nation and national interest so what does this national uh, interest mean national interest means a sovereign state sovereign state has its own goals goals plus ambitions okay goals and ambitions to uh, to meet up okay but these goals and ambition should be on on the category of economy military culture plus different other things okay so these are the basic important things so if a country looks for what about their goals and ambitions such as like in india what are what is what are is national what is their national interest so their national interest is to become one of asia's asia's plus world's superpower so in order to become india as a super a power what what india's goals and ambitions will have india india's goals and ambition will be like india will purchase mili india will be moving ahead in the field of military okay and so much of technologies technological advancements so and and so forth so these whatever the goals like a person also will have like um, like you also have your own goals and ambition in life so similarly the state or sovereign state also have its own goals and ambition in the ambit of economy in the ambit of military in the ambit of culture as well as different other things okay so national interest we are talking about the national interest national interest is the objective that each nation tries to secure during the course of relationship with other nations so it's very simple what is national interest national interest is the objectives that each nation tries to secure during course of relation with other nation so objectives always goes for goals and ambitions goals plus ambition with uh, on the ambit of economy military culture wise so india plus usa they have their own five years of term okay so usa have own independent president india have their own independent like 
प्राइम मिनिस्टर सो बोथ अंडर द लीडरशिप ऑफ दीज टू पीपल दे कम इन टू द नेगोशिएशन दे कम इन टू टॉक दैट दे विल फाइनलाइज ओके दीज इयर लाइक फॉर फाइव इयर्स वी विल फोकस अपॉन मिलिट्री सो दिस विल बी देयर गोल्स ओके सो एवरी every kind like after 5 years or after 10 years uh, president will be changing and prime minister also will be changing then what happens that their goals and objectives will also be changed so like it will not stay the objectives will not stay for a long period of time okay so it will also change in due course of time so let's move to point 2 it becomes imperative for international politics to study national interests of various nations so the study of these goals and ambition is done in the um, is done in international relations we can study in international relations the goals and ambitions of the different countries with other nation in due course of time this is this is national interest now moving forward let's talk about national power what is national power national power it is the ability or a capability of a nation to secure its goals and objectives okay in previous slide i have talked about national interest okay uh, whether uh, under it goals and objectives goals and ambitions were there so now national power we are talking about its ability or a capability to capability of a nation to secure goals and objectives goals and ambitions of a particular state the concept of national power the conspe- concept of national power is the core concept of international politics nations are actors but these always but these always act on the basis of their national powers so what is this national powers to to achieve certain goals we need to secure okay first we need to secure these goals then only we can uh, reach uh, reach for our national interest but if we can if we will not secure these goals and objectives then we can't reach for national interest so nation are uh, nation are actors but these and these always act on the basis of their national power if the national power is there if their country has its own um, method to secure its goals and objectives then only a uh, true form of nations arises in a way relations among nations are of the nature of struggle for power so this is quite tricky struggle for power it has a deep theory i will a clear later on because if i go um, explaining you about for struggle for power it will not like it will be a different topic but narrowing down i am talking about for international relations let's focus upon that so morganthu hans j morganthu one of the uh, political philosopher okay so he says that morganthu holds that international politics can be understood only only if viewed as interest defines its terms of power interest defines its terms of power so what does this interest means interest means the uh, the interest of a particular country and if the interest is there then only uh, the power is defined otherwise if it is not defined then the uh, whole uh, structure or a country or a nation state will be in a chaotic situation so national determine national power determines the role and ability of a nation to carry out its foreign policy objectives so these foreign policy objectives the meaning of foreign policy objective is that it is a general guide or a general objectives um, that guides the activities and the relationship of one state and its interaction with other i will repeat this uh, foreign policy is the general objective that guides the activities and relationship of uh, one state in its interaction with other so if the national uh, national power has a ability or a role to play and, and role to carry nation nation 
uh, to carry its nation's foreign policy objectives without national power uh, foreign policy um, the policy the foreign policy will not be um, understood properly so yes number this one uh, third fourth let's talk about fourth point that is foreign policy as i have already defined the meaning or i have already discussed what is foreign policy foreign policy is the behavior of each state in nation uh, in international relation and it is always directed and controlled by its foreign policy the behavior of each state so foreign policy means we need certain rules and regulations to deal with other countries and this foreign policy each each state each state has different foreign policies different foreign policies so under that there will be domestic policies also under domestic policy national power plus national interest these all carry all together then only foreign policy will be developed so if uh, like each state has its own foreign policies and the behavior is always controlled by its foreign policy of a state foreign policy is uh, the thought out course of action for securing the objectives and national interests of the nation so foreign policy makes that it secures the different objectives and gives a certain narratives to understand the national interest or gives a shape shape for its national interest too so uh, number three the uh, foreign policy scope of international relation under foreign policy is that it is the study of foreign policies of various nations along can explain the nature of relations and interactions among them so please be clear that ir is talk of talks about relations relation plus uh, interactions nation non actors plus non state actors so on and so forth so it is very much easy just you need to uh, pinpoint the keyword and uh, pin pin uh, like uh, pinpoint out how these uh, foreign policies will be uh, affecting for our uh, goals and security so the thing is that this foreign policy is like one of the most important thing that each and every country each and every country go forward and uh, make or formulate it because every government when a new government comes into the power in the center the whole foreign policy of a country changes be it in defense be it in like uh, going with uh, the signing of treaties with different countries be it in deals be it in economy be it in and anything whatever the things that in the country signs the foreign policy will automatically change when the new government comes then only certain targets are fulfilled so number fifth scope economic instruments of international relation so economic instruments uh, the increased importance of role of economy and trade relation in international politics can be hardly op uh, over overestimated now the thing is that uh, a country needs to needs other country to survive so uh, if one country don't have certain things they will borrow it from other country so when a borrow or a borrow kind of thing takes place there is a economic trade relation we will call it as a trade relation so these uh, trade relations in international politics are um, dominated by economy because in 21st century the were the role of economy has plundered each and every country so without the role of economy a country cannot survive a country cannot move on so uh, these the study of economy is also related to the international relation economic relations among nations are uh, nations from a very important part of international relation as i said earlier the economy becomes an important part for each and every relations to survive in an international relation today economic instruments such as 
foreign aid, loan, trade, etc. are the most important means of influence in the course of uh, relations. So, uh, foreign aid means if if a country has been like the thing is like this. Okay, uh, I can cite an example like uh, in this pandemic in India when the second wave hit hard in India what happened different foreign countries supplied vaccinations to India this is called like foreign aid not just in the um, not just like giving them vaccination but they provided from millions of millions of uh, uh, money they funded to different uh, institute so then so that the vaccination and the making of vaccination will not be hindered so these kind of foreign aids are given to the countries around the world not just uh, developing countries uh, even for they share it like they share in in the form of foreign aid they share it in a form of loan trade etc so uh, if these foreign aid this loan etc means it becomes it has become a very important aspects in international relations and these are the things that it influences the uh, influence the course of relation between other countries also number eight uh, in number six now international in institution and regional organization so this is like one of the most important part of international relation because it has governed the world now an outstanding feature of this contemporary era has been a rapid growth of international institution and organization as the institutionalized means for the conduct of relation among the nations it just talks about relation but what are in, in what are uh, international inter institutions? International institutions are United Nations. While there are other several uh, organizations, that is North Atlantic Treaty Association, NATO, Asian Association, Southeast Asian Nation, etc. These are the nations uh, who, who has been considerably influencing the relation the course of relation among nations and hence this stands included in subject matter of international politics so as gradually chapter goes goes on then there are different like separate chapters regarding mm, to understand the mm, the international relations or organized regional organization international institute it's like United Nations regional organization is like North Atlantic Treaty organization. Asians, Asian, uh, Asian, SARC. These are the things. World Bank is considered as international institute. So on and so forth. So these plays like these are the one of the most important factors that shapes the current or a contemporary international relations. So in your book there are numerous uh, scopes, but I have generalized into six important scope. So I guess you have understood what is IR. What are the scope subject? Uh, what are the scope of the subject? And uh, you need to make your like you have already make your notes but kindly just uh, reorganize with the explanation that i have given you all till then stay safe and take care